Hello. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate or I'm going to answer um, mathematics paper 2, grade 9 week uh, that came in 2021. And I'm going to start from qu first question to the last question, which is question number 8. So watch this video up to the end as I'm going to show you how you can solve um, questions in an exam. And remember, uh, I've looked at different type, uh, different papers, uh, examination papers. What I've noted is that um, uh, the exams, they come in the same way. The questions are the same. They just change numbers. So if you know how to solve, if you can go through uh, one paper, that means uh, you have revised many papers. The difference is that um, there will be only different numbers, but they are going to be typically the same questions, but we have different numbers. Okay, so let's go into today's uh, work. Okay, so the first question in this paper was um, starting with section A, as you can see on the screen. So uh, before I go in details or before I start solving these questions, uh, you need also to know that um, section A, uh, sorry, paper 2, mathematics grade 9 comes in two sections. There is section A, which consists of two questions which are compulsory. Uh, these questions, you need to answer them, all of them. Question 1 and question 2 should be answered. You don't have to choose one or leave any. You answer all the questions. Then starting from question 3 up to question 8, there are six questions there. You just have to pick three. Okay, so question one, you just need, sorry, section A, you need to answer all the questions. That means question one and two are compulsory. You don't have to choose between one and two, or you, you don't need to, to answer maybe uh, five questions from uh, section B. It doesn't work like that. It's from section B, they'll just pick three questions you have answered, and plus these two, then they'll make up five questions. Okay. Now let's go into today's work. So <clears throat> question one in this paper was as follows. Express um, 187,863 in standard form collects to three significant figures. Okay. So students were asked to write this number in standard form and correct to three significant figures. So to solve this question, what you need to do first thing is you need to round off this number to uh, a number that has only three significant figures. Okay, so when you look at this number, I'm going to rewrite it down here. Now, when you look at this number, 187,863, 187, uh, if we have to remain with three significant, that means three significant numbers, that means we're going to remain with it these numbers have underlined in lead 187 okay these will be the three significant figures in this number that will remain okay so that means we need to get rid of 863 so for us to do that we need to round off this number to uh, three significant figures okay that means we need to uh, we are going to um, round off seven Okay, by uh, either adding 0 or 1 to 7, okay, and what will determine whether we're going to add 0 or 7 or 0 or 1 to 7 is this next number, which is 8, the one I've pointed with you, the orange arrow there, okay? Now, if this number is bigger than 5 or equal to 5, then we're going to add 1 to 7. If it is less than uh, 5, that means we're going to add 0 to 7. Okay, so definitely when we look at 7, even if we add 1 to 7, we are not going to have any number that will spill to 8. So we can even write 18 in advance. Okay, once we've done that, then we're going to ask ourselves, um, is 8 greater than 5 or equal to 5 or less than 5? We know that 8 is greater than 5. That means we're going to add 1 to 7. So when you add 1 to 7, we're going to have 8. So we're going to write 8 there. Okay, now what happens to the place values where 6, where 8, 6, and 3 are? They are going to put zeros on those place values. So we're going to have three zeros, which means we're, when we round off 187,863 to three significant figures, we're going to have 188,000. Okay, 
now we have rounded off this number the next thing we need to do now we need to write this number in standard form okay so what we're going to do is we're going to move the decimal point from the last we know that the decimal point is at the end of the last zero so it has to move and come between one and eight okay so when you count the numbers which the decimal point is going to close which is at the end of the zero it's going to close five numbers starting from the zero on the right when we count we are going to find that up to uh, the last eight on the left so that means it's going to be five numbers that the decimal point will skip okay so we're going to come up with 1.88 okay 1.88 okay when the decimal point moves from the far end up to there okay now once we've done that the next thing we're going to do is now we are, we have counted that it has moved five decimal places or it has moved five places from the rest up to that point it has moved the decimal point has moved five places or it has skipped five numbers that means we're going to now we are writing this number in standard form so we're going to multiply by 10 then this 10 will be raised to the power of the number uh, the decimal point has skipped so it has skipped five so it's going to be uh, 10 raised to the power 5 okay and that we have written uh, 187,863 in standard form correct to 3 significant so which is 1.88 times 10 to the power 5 okay so that was the answer now we can go to number 1b number 1b is solve the equation x minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is equal to x okay so what we're going to do is now i'm going to write this number down here this expression down here okay once i've done that then the next thing i'm going to do is i want to get rid of the fraction that means i'll multiply every term in this equation by two so i'm going to multiply that by two and also i'm going to multiply negative one by two okay as well as i'm going to multiply x by 2 okay so when i multiply uh, 2 by x minus 3 over 2 that means the two uh, the twos will cancel each other like this one two and this two they will cancel each other then leaving us with x minus 3 then negative 1 times 2 will give us negative 2 then which is equal, which is equal to x times 2 will give us 2x okay once i've done this then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put like terms together that means the x on the left side will close the equal sign and come where 2x is okay so that means it will leave us with e, negative 3 minus e, 2 on the left side which is equal to 2x then since the x has closed the equal sign, it's going to become a negative, so it's going to be minus uh, x. Okay, then I'm going to evaluate negative 3 minus 2, which is going to be negative 5. Then 2x minus x will give us x, so it's going to be negative 5 is equal to x. Okay, so that was the answer for question 1, b, and that is the answer examiners expected from. Uh, cadence so we can go to question 1 C now